the format of the robot. I logged onto my computer, a beaten up thing that I'd had for ages. I technically wasn't allowed on it on weekdays, but mom and dad had gone to a dinner, and what they didn't know wouldn't hurt them. I opened the internet, logged into Facebook. One message, from Rohan, an old friend. Check it out. The message read. I think you'll like these. Attached was a link to creepypasta.com. I opened it, and ads started flashing in my face. I closed them all, and started reading what a creepypasta was. Hmm, interesting. I clicked on a few links and started to read. I'd finished three stories before I realized it was ten, and I had to make myself dinner. I went downstairs in the dark, feeling my way across the walls. I heard a door creak. Just the old house making its normal noises. I was just paranoid from those creepy pastas. I took a plastic Tupperware full of pasta out of the fridge, and stuck it into the microwave, then helped myself to a Coke from the fridge. The kitchen door creaked open. I jerked up, head swinging around. Was there someone there? Could I see a shadow? Of course not. I laughed at myself, so paranoid. I crossed the kitchen and closed the door, picking up a fork while I was there. The microwave bleeped, and I took my pasta out, and brought it upstairs with me. I sat at my computer, humming and mumbling to myself while scrolling through story by story. I didn't notice the shadows on the wall at first. I didn't hear the strange noises at first. But when it reached 1am, I started to get worried for my parents. I reached over to grab my phone, but all I felt was the icy cold wood of the table. I leaned forwards to switch on the lights. They flickered, once, then went out. I felt a cold breath on my neck. I spun around, no one's there. I tried the lights again, but the power must have gone down. I looked at my computer again. It was still running. Strange, I shook my head and clicked on another creepypasta link. These were addictive. This one was called, The Boy Who Became. Interesting. As I started to read, I realized it sounded exactly like what I'd done. I pushed myself away from the computer, but get something behind me. Raspy breathing sounded in my ear. I screamed, sprung forwards, but something stopped me. I seen his wrapped fingers around my throat, my arms, my legs. I tried to ride out of the powerful grip, but the iciness had penetrated to my very bones and was paralyzing me. Breathing started getting harder, black dots swirling in my vision. I tried to lift my arms, but they had turned to lead. Through the haze of darkness, I vaguely felt myself getting dragged off the chair and down the hallway. My eyes started closing, and I couldn't open them.